It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Private Brewery Iyengar and there's a bottle of their Maybach coming in at 6.9% ABV. There's a look at the label. Lovely, almost hand-painted look to the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. No, look at that smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Looks really nice. It's got a four finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Look at the clarity. Clarity on that beer is absolutely fantastic. In my mind, I don't know if you guys think the same as me. When I think Bock is a strong style of German beer, for some reason I always think of but that's Weissbach, isn't it? Weisenbach. Weisenbach is a darker beer. Pretty sure it is. Um, I always think of a Bock as a, as a dark beer for some reason, but then again, when I poured it out, I have had a few Bocks in the past, quite a few really, that have been light and golden and have got really good clarity. So maybe it's just my, my little bit of lack of understanding with the whole German language still, the German styles, and maybe just a little bit misty in my mind still. But nevertheless, I'm a massive fan of German beer and I'm not going to let that get in the way. The beer was kindly sent to us by beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all around the world. Check out the link in the description box of the video for beersofeurope.co.uk. Let's get the aroma on this lovely looking beer. Look at that carbonation. Like a light crystal malt aroma coming through. Slightly nutty, wheaty. Grassy, lemony hop aroma. I didn't say lemongrass by the way. I didn't mean lemongrass if that's what you're thinking. It smells good. Bit of honey maybe floating around in there. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh that is terrific, a really terrific beer. Stone the crows, stone the crows, really enjoying this. It's got that reassuring Strong beer, Bock beer, feeling, taste, mouthfeel. There's a certain density to it because it's 6.9% ABV. They've managed to get a little bit more malt into the into the brew, a malted barley, get, get a little bit more in there. And that just helps with the mouthfeel. It gets a little bit more stickier, a little bit thicker. It makes the beer a little bit more rich. But the carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Mouth. It's enough to lift the beer. And the hop presence on the back end balances that rich sweetness from the malt. It's a slight orange lemon peel flavour. It's nettily, it's spicy. It's bitter and that just balances everything out nicely. Superb beer. I have not had an Iyengar beer for quite some time. They seem to make their way into Britain with a bang. I don't know, about four years ago. Lots of different styles of beer. Uh, fantastic styles of beer. I'm a big fan of their brewery. They seem to be, even though they started in 1878, they seem to have a modern feel to them. They, they, they don't, they, they seem to be, they, I don't know, lots of different styles, but whatever they seem to do, they do it very, very to the point, to the button. Like it, it's a real good quality beer. Love it, love it. Let's rate it. Mm. 
great lacing on the glass, look at that. Lovely head retention, good carbonation, lovely looking beer. The aroma is good, the taste is good. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. A Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.